Is there anybody out there? There is, and I'll be rescuing you shortly. Welcome back to Grim Fandango. This Let is part 11, out. and yes, we are going to rescue Meche and hopefully do a lot of other things in this video. Sorry, but this I, I know how to do. I've already you. tried it out. So, last time I had a look at the handle. Manny, no luck, you? really. We had a play with this, but I didn't really know what I was doing, but I neglected to have I'm a look at the here. right side of the door. So let's do that now. Ooh, I bet I could pick that. Hey. There you if go. only I hadn't lost my union card in that poker game. <laughs> it's okay. We you don't need the union card. What I need is the tool that I swapped for the, uh, well, the, the very, very small pick that's actually being used to mine coral now. I this isn't for Glottis, this is for me, and we're going to put it to good use here. It's me, Mache! Manny! Must have hit a major circuit. Hmm. But it looks like I've exposed the guts here. And that's the important bit. So, okay, let's put this away. Don't think we need to use this again. At least, not here. Maybe somewhere else, but that comes later. Uh, so let's take a look. Those are the tumblers of the combination lock. Right. And they're exposed. So now if I have a look at this again, try and use the wheel, we get a slightly different angle and this becomes more of a puzzle. Which is um, actually quite a delicate puzzle, really. I'm going to choose to use the arrow keys rather than clicking left and right. But what we have to do is be um, be very careful to turn the tumblers from the bottom to the top and get them all, how does he put it, uh, like flush with the edge of the door essentially. So there's a gap on this right side because we're going to need that gap. So, right, so I'm just going to spin it rapidly left. I'm holding left at the moment, okay? If I turn it to the right, it starts at the bottom and after like a full rotation, it goes to the second one up, and you keep spinning it in that same direction, and it will move to the third one, and finally, again, it will go to the fourth one. And we need to line up the fourth one first, so that's a... yeah, there you go, that's about right. So now if we spin it the other direction, if I press left instead of right, we start at the bottom again, okay? And now, because the fourth one's in place, we want to do the same sort of thing, but only get as high as the third one. Okay, so... Just little taps. There you go. Back the other way. Just want to get the uh, the second one in line now. That's close enough, I hope. Uh, is that good enough? I mean, I can see the gap. That's yeah. I think that's probably wide enough. So P to exit. And let's take a look. I think he confirms it. The tumblers are all lined up, flush with the door jam. Right, now don't make the mistake that I did and try the handle again, because that just resets the puzzle. What we need to do is actually, uh, well, I'll show you. That gap is just wide enough for my blade. So let's stick it in there, make sure they don't turn. Stay. There you go. Now let's try the handle. Right, there you go. And my blade's still fine, didn't deform it or anything like that. And we're in! Alright, Mechi, you can come out now. Mechi? Okay, she doesn't come out, but we have to go in. And, uh, yeah, this is this is where I decided to start recording again, so... <laughs> uh, sure. Um, not sure what to do in here, to be honest. What have we got here? A few drawers. Looks like years and years of coral harvest reports. This can't be what this secret safe is meant to hold. No, I think Meche's in here. They're all locked up. These must be very, very sensitive coral harvest reports. Yeah, I suppose so. Uh, okay. Let's see. Uh, down here, I guess. Oh, right. Uh, okay. This must be the big chipper. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, let's take this with us. Oh, we can! Oh, 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 right. Really? Go on, then. Come on, attack the suit of armor. It's a Corsa is heavy. Ah, it is, isn't it? Okay, well, let's have a look at the suit of armor. I guess we'll be needing that maybe Man, a little later. People in the old days were huge. <laughs> uh, can we do anything with this? Mechi, are you in there? It's time to come out, honey. No time for hide and seek. <laughs> no, I don't think she's in there, but she's she's in here somewhere. Uh... Let me just go back to that screen. Are, are they all coral reports? Looks like years and years of coral harvest reports. This yeah. can't be what this secret safe is meant to hold. 
and they're all locked. They're all locked up. These must be mm. very, very sensitive coral harvest reports. Well, maybe we need to use this a little bit sooner than I was anticipating. Let's see if we can bust it open. Does that work? Ha! <laughs> bust all my ass. Alright. So that didn't work? Oh, um, okay. Um, right. Well, that doesn't make sense, because she is meant to be in here somewhere. That's not a button or anything? No. Uh, do we need to close this? Do Probably shouldn't have done that. Uh-oh. Oh, Raul. No. I am so, so sorry. <laughs> Getting a taste of my medicine, I think. Uh, okay, there's nothing hidden behind the door. She's not behind there. Shh. Can't go to the left. Oh, what's this? Is this it? Looks like I messed up these contacts when I broke through with the bus stall. All right. Oh, it's a contact issue. Oh, hang on. Is, is it going to be a, another scythe kind of thing? Might be. The scythe is coming in pretty handy in this chapter so far, so let's try it. Right. Ah, yes. Manny, I knew you would... Why is that door closed? Uh... <laughs> It was the only way I, uh, uh, the wind? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I assume I had to close the door. Otherwise, I've just made a terrible, terrible mistake. Uh, right. Yeah, I thought there would be more to this area, to be honest. So, it's through here. Hey, this is my room. Go use up the air in your own room. <laughs> no, can't do that. Hi. Thanks for not shooting me. Look. I'm sorry. I should have trusted you. It's just that the past two years have been pretty tough, you know? I can only imagine. Right. Uh, okay. So we got... Yeah, we got some suitcases here. What's in these cases? Take a look. It's all the double-end tickets Hector and Dom have stolen over the years. Right. Each one stolen from a good soul, and now they just sit there. That's it. What? They just sit there. That's what's been bothering me. In the days when I was a hot salesman, I used to see double-end tickets all the time, and they move. What do you mean, they move? They become agitated around human souls, and the ticket that belongs to you will actually fly into your hand. But these tickets, and the tickets in that suitcase of Charlie's, it's like they're dead. Why would Hector and Domino be hoarding cases of counterfeit double-end tickets? Hmm. The plot thickens even more. Right, okay, um, yeah, I noticed this over here. We can have a look how it looks like. What does this do? Warning, fire system, do not touch. <laughs> yeah. What else was I going to do? Uh, is it doing anything? I guess not. Uh, right, let's see, any more secret walls? Wait, what are you looking at? This? Oh, right, okay. That home plumbing sprinkler system looks like it's about to fall apart. Right, okay. Is this all the same thing? That home plumbing sprinkler yeah. system looks like it's about to fall apart. That's not what's catching his eye, though. It's something up here. That vent is the only way out of here that I can see. I suppose I can reach I it. I couldn't reach that vent, even if I stood on Mitch's shoulders. Wouldn't it make more sense for me to stand on your shoulders anyway? <laughs> Are you kidding? Look at your heels. <laughs> yeah, ouch. Ah. Uh... This might be where we need that axe, actually. Let's uh, let's go grab it. I think we can move around with it. I'm hoping we can, anyway, because I don't think we use it in this room. Yeah, yeah, it's very, very heavy. We have to drag it around, but that's not a problem. Through there, please. Okay. Uh, just, just drop it. It's the only way he knows how to put it down, it seems. Uh, so there's something up with the sprinkler system, right? I can't reach that high. Is Again? Is this like... Is this for the scythe? No, 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 no. The other item. The other thing that I've got. Right. Now, all we right. have to do is wait for the room to fill up, and we'll just float on out of here. <laughs> well, this is disappointing. Not to me. We don't float, remember? No, we don't. No, we don't. Uh, okay. Well, we got it to work, so I don't think we need this anymore, so let's put it away. 
but you know, it's been very, very handy thus far. Maybe we'll have it out again. Let's see. That home plumbing sprinkler system looks like it's about to fall apart. Yeah, it does. Do we need to? Uh, I guess, guess we need to stop it, don't we? Is that what it's for? Thank you. Right. Yes. Right. It's there, isn't it? Have a look. Have a look at the floor. That's where all the water drains. This must be the big chipper. No? No, 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 no. That tile. Can we not have a look at that tile? I don't think we can. Pick it up, though. Yeah, pick it up. I think this is what we need the axe for. He drops it down because it's a very, very heavy thing to, you know, lug around. Um, yeah, drag it in this direction. Go over, like, here somewhere? No, don't turn, don't turn. Shit. Oh, this is going to be awkward to do. I, uh, I want the, the very top of the axe to be on that tile. bit more. Oh, come on! God, this is a finicky thing to do, honestly. No, don't! <laughs> don't walk into the other room! Right, turn around, turn around. We want it to go this way. Why does he insist on going that way? Right. Stop. That's not good enough, I don't think. That's not really the tile. Oh, man. Okay. Why? Is the wall a lot closer on the fo in the foreground than I think it is? It's got to be, right? Maybe move over there. Maybe oh, actually, no. Stay. Stay right there. Now try it. Thank fuck for that. <laughs> okay. Now, I oh, he does it automatically. Yeah, put it down. After you. What about the suitcases? Forget them. They're counterfeit. They wouldn't fit through this hole anyway. Let's go. Good point. There you go. Okay, oh. you get the kids, and I'll meet you back here with the boat. What boat? Well, I'm working on that. Okay, man. <laughs> yeah, I am working on that. Um, I have a couple I of theories. I have to figure a way to launch that ship Gladys found. What I need is a giant stork to deliver that big baby right here. Well, I don't think it's a giant stork as such. I think it's more of a, a giant crane. So we need to have a little play with that, don't we? And uh, thankfully, it seems like it's on this side. Now, again, there's something I neglected to do, a little bit like the door. I probably should have tried to deploy the crane on this side and see what happened. Because uh, I tried it in the middle and, and near where I, I dropped it into the water on the other side, but not here. Yeah, okay, so... Yeah, it's as far left as it can possibly go. Let's operate it. Okay. Is that what we want? I guess so. We've sort of disembarked. We're back down here. Let's let's go have a look. Right. Uh, let's take a look at it, shall we? I guess let's run a little bit closer before we look at it. Okay, you ready now? This scoop looks heavier than my last ship. Hmm. It might be. It's got to weigh a few tons. It's not a handheld device. No, far from it. Uh, it's very specifically this link, it looks like. Okay, well, I've got a couple of items. It's probably not going to be the scythe, but it very well could be this. So, bust it. <laughs> yes! Ah! Ah! Okay. Hopefully we don't need that bit of the frame. I can see why they don't give these chisels to the new guys. <laughs> uh, right. Do you want to keep going with it, the or...? Scoop's learned its lesson. Yeah, okay, put it away. Let's examine it again. This scoop looks heavier than my last ship. Right, 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 right. Okay, well, I... I guess we don't need this side of it, but... Let's go back up to the crane and... I don't know, can we still operate it? I'd like to give that a go. Yeah. Yeah, maybe that was it. Maybe we just needed the other part of the crane. We didn't actually need the uh, the grabber at the end of it. Okay, so... Does it still work? It's still an op... Right. Uh, I think. Um, <laughs> hold on, hold on. Exit. Oh, damn. That looks pretty bad. Uh, I probably want to get it out of there, actually. Or do I? I don't know. Maybe I need to get him to stop for some reason. 
they must bring the core over here to be crushed. Now with that, these are the biggest, meanest looking hair killers I've ever seen. Okay, yeah, that is a pretty irritating sound actually, so I'm just going to uh, raise it up again. And bring them out! Okay, uh... Give me a sec, I'm going to exit again. <laughs> is there anything under there, or... Where did they go? Looks like there's nothing down there. Let's let's go down onto the beach again. Ah, okay. Go on then. Have a look. I can't believe I killed it. <laughs> uh, is this something we need Maybe to bust? Maybe if I had some giant steel hair to curl. It might be. Honestly, I don't know. Let's just get it out and see what we can do with it. Yeah, they are already hurting. <laughs> they do not need the teachings of the Bostol. <laughs> okay, fair enough, fair enough. Um, Alright, well, back to the crane then, I suppose. We can still operate it. It's still got a chain, you know, hanging off of it. So is that it? Do we lower the chain? Maybe we just lower the chain on the other side. Maybe then we can sort of link it up to the, to the anchor to hoist it back up over the edge. Let's see. Yeah, that side now. Uh, and try it again. Ah. That's a lot of chain. That's a lot of chain. I think we actually want to leave it like that. Let's exit. Um, can we get down? With it kind of blocking us? I... Seems like it. Okay. Uh, yeah. We want to, I think, reverse it a little bit so it's actually going down towards the edge. Okay, give it a spin. Right, that's it. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, um, now I think we need to go down here and see if we can attach the chain. Looks pretty damn heavy, but I don't know, maybe the bus stall or the scythe can come in handy. Go on, down you go. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh, he says. Right, slowly, slowly. Right, now there's probably a link. Is this the end? Looks like it keeps going, to be honest. Uh, does it keep going down? That's the anchor chain, isn't it? And he's still working on that propeller and everything else. Yeah, it doesn't actually seem to reach down here. Since we are down here, let's just get an update. Has anything changed? I think this baby's our ticket out of here. Oh yeah, good point! <laughs> What's that again? Okay. Yeah. Um, back up the chain. There is a point where I can attach it to the anchor, I'm absolutely sure of that. But I'm not seeing it at the moment. No. I don't think we can do anything about the current either, so we can't actually stand here and, and sort this out. Uh, keep going, keep going. Maybe let's go back to the lever. Maybe, uh, yeah, maybe we need to drag it up in that sense. Maybe it's kind of already attached and I just don't know it. Yeah, okay, over we go. Come on then. Right. Uh, what the hell's going on? I'm getting back. I'm getting back here and I want to see what's going on down there. Well, the chain isn't being dragged up, which I suppose is a pretty good thing. But it's sort of like bundled up. Oh, that's not right. No, go back. Yeah, maybe it's just using the conveyor belt, actually. Maybe we don't have to attach it by hand or anything. That's not like a hook we can use or anything, is it? No? No, it doesn't look like it. Okay, well, yeah, let's just keep playing with this, see what happens. Oh! Oh, that's convenient. <laughs> okay, well, that's kind of what I intended to do. Ah, all right, sure. Uh, well, again, back on the conveyor belt. I think this time... Oh, come on. You know what to do. Yeah, I think this time we'll be using the crane to actually yank it up. So, come on. <laughs> it's like a, it's a treadmill there. Okay, operate. Right. 
<laughs> Gladys, I'm so glad to see you. Aww. Is the boat already? Yeah, come on. Let's go eat some reef. Yeah? Oh, that's what that was for. Okay. Works like crazy. Full speed ahead. <laughs> what? Oh. So are you really going to bring me back and try to get your old job again? There's no job for me now except to bring you and everyone else here to the end of the road. But if you aren't going to use me to get your job back, why did you spend all this time trying to find me? Meche? I... I needed to find you. <laughs> Thought I saw something in the background. I give you one job, Manny! And look at you! Already screwing it up! I suppose you realize that this is gonna go down on your permanent record! Uh, right, uh, don't suppose we can talk him out of this, can we? Probably don't want to go that way, really. just the kind of guy to practice oxen regulation boxing and then pull out a blade when it comes time to fight. Well, speaking of which, I do have a blade myself, so, uh, yeah, yeah. Surprised he hasn't attacked me from behind, to be honest. Uh, use it, I guess? No. Okay. This doesn't look good for the kid. Look, Dom, I'm not gonna work for you. Oh, don't worry about that. You're fired. Just consider this your severance. Right. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. Can we can we do anything else? Just, I just wanted to look at him. I didn't want to fight him. I wanted to sort of analyze his weaknesses. I guess that's not a thing. What are you doing away from your desk anyway? I'm sending this domino back to the bone pile. Right. Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah. Fuck him. Attack the eye. Attack the eye. Yes. I don't believe you, Calavera. You're losing a fight, so you pick on one of my pets? Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> Why aren't you more like me, Manny? I've been trying to show you how, but you don't listen! If you just adopt the proper attitude, just look what could happen to you! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> and that's why I kept him on my good side. Yes, another year passes. Somewhere along the line, we lost the boat. I think that's the track for the number nine. Next. Glorious! Glorious! It does mean. Right. Glorious? Where'd you go this time? And that is a good question, and that will be answered in the next video as we begin year number four, which I believe is actually the final year of the game. So yeah, we're a uh, we're approaching the end. Thank you very much for watching this video. A little bit short, I'm afraid, but uh, yeah, that seems like a, a good place to end it. See you next time. Oh, Raul. No. I am so, so sorry. <laughs> Getting a taste of my medicine, I think. Do not touch. <laughs> yeah. What else was I going to do? A bit more. Oh, come on. Does it still work? It's still a hop. Right. Uh, I think.
Um. <laughs> oh, oh, that's convenient. <laughs> and that's why I kept them on my good side. 